who um, has has been patient with us while we had some technical difficulties this evening. Yeah. Stephanie says, Stephanie asks, do people break up with people because they've had bad sex? Honorable Deacon, do people break up with people because the sex was bad? You damn right. You goddamn right. Well, what are you supposed to do, Stephanie? Like Stay a, there? I'm not going to waste all this goodness on some bullshit. Sex is cardio. For me, sex used to be cardio. So, I mean, uh, at some point, you want to have cardio with other people. Some people don't work you out like the other people. You know, uh, again, Stephanie, I don't like to name names, but I will just say Breeze Mama. Sometimes you meet, <laughs> Sometimes people don't work you out like you need to be worked out. And I hate to have to take it to church, but everybody ain't going to get blessed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Queen B, shout out to Queen B joining us from Kentucky. Uh, Queen B, you may have to clarify what you're saying before we wrap up the show. Queen B says, that must have been a special COW from a foreign country. Somebody help me. What's a COW? Cow, C O W. I think I'm the only one not getting that one. So Queen B says, Stephanie, I do believe that people break up with people because of bad sex. I mean, if the shit is not good, then you have to keep it moving. You need to have someone that is going to satisfy you. I mean, hell, that's a waste of time. We always like to educate people here. On a Lonely Hearts Cafe. Stephanie says, okay, if you had sex one time, it was bad. Do you let them hit it twice? The Queen Bee says, hell no, that shit is over. Honorable Deacon, if the I sex is bad the on the first occasion, do you let them hit it twice? No. No? No. Something about it has to be good for me to come back again. It has to be. Um, I And I will say this. If there have been occasions that I have been intimate with someone and the sex is bad, I would tell her directly that she needs to phone a friend the next time. You know, it may, you know sometimes it's not always her. Sometimes it's me. Sometimes it's the shit that I'm used to that uh, I, I want different shit. So... You know, you may have to bring a friend in to do a little threesome action. Shout out to Ronnie joining us. And Michaela joining us. Ronnie and Michaela joining us two minutes after the show ended. You know. Uh, The Queen Bee says, Milk, the relationship that you went through. Oh, 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 oh. Milk, the relationship that I went to the store. Yep. So, uh, Queen Bee, you've been hiding for two hours, and then you come break out a comment on milk? Yeah, the cow must have been in a foreign country. Shout out to Thorny Switch. Thorny Switch joining us from Georgia. Everybody coming in now. Huh. Oh, there's some days. Yeah. Tony Switch joining us. I think that's appreciated. Uh, Michaela, yeah, we do certainly appreciate you all joining us. Uh, Queen B says she had to cook dinner. Tony Switch, what's your excuse for joining us late? And Michaela, what's your excuse? Ronnie, I know Ronnie was there in the beginning, but we uh, we had technical difficulties. And we are the dinner. We are the sustenance. Yes. Yes. Well, we're eating on you. Don't you want to eat on us sometimes? Fill up on our love. Yes, indeed. Uh, Let's see. Chief Rocker says, do another hour. (laughs) 
Tiffany Chan says she agrees with Chief. Do another hour. If we did another hour, would you all be hungry? It would impede on spicy. Huh? It would impede on spicy. Yep. It would impede on spicy. Uh, Michaela says she was cooking her liver and rice with gravy. First of all, Michaela, I don't like liver. But I would like for you to fix me some rice and gravy when I come through on Sunday. Let's see. Queen Bay says, Michaela, what about those English peas and rolls? Everybody saying hello to everybody. And they are saying hello. So, Honorable Deacon, mm-hmm. would you like to say your goodbyes to everyone as they're saying their hellos? It's been a stone cold groove. Uh, power to the people, realizing that you're far more superior than equal. Everybody stay prayed up, stayed up. Blessings to you and your family. Thank you. Good night. And the Honorable Deacon has said good night with that. But I want to try one thing before we get off the phone, get off the show. This is where the show drags out Ronnie, where Ronnie says, don't drag it out, don't drag it out. We touched on the story, and I am trying to uh, see if... Uh, we'll save it for next week. We'll save it for next week. And I am trying to... Ronnie, here's your programming note. I am trying to do next week's show from Sheboygan, from Milwaukee. I am going to Milwaukee tomorrow, but I need to go back next week at, as well. And I'm trying to see if uh, Boss Lady will approve it. And then if Boss Lady approves it, I will be up there two weeks in a row. So if that happens, I will be doing the show from either Milwaukee or Sheboygan. There's that programming note. So, Honorable Deacon? Yes, sir. We have some rapid-fire questions that we're going to ask you real quick before we get out of here. Uh, How did you realize that a lady is not the one? Conversation, the way she walks. Walks? Um, her, yes, the way she walks. Uh, the, the lack of confidence in her walk. Uh, the strangeness of her gait. Um, uh, lack of attention to her hair. Body oils, body smells. That's a lot of different things. Another question for you is: um, ha, Do you, does does the honorable deacon have a Tinder profile? Uh, it's possible. I haven't used it in a long time, but I think so. Uh, honorable deacon, have you ever been considered a bad boy? Probably still considered that, actually. Okay, so then her follow-up is, are you ever going to change your ways? Why? Shit. Do you want any more kids? No. Not at this present moment. Okay. Are you manipulative in a relationship? I would like to a little bit more dominant than passive or submissive. Okay. What is when you see a woman with a tattoo on the lower portion of her back? What does it tell you? That she needs more. Ah. 
Okay. Okay. What are the dangers of falling in love too hard? Um, not being able, not being able to handle the breakup. Oh yeah, that's a, a lot of people try answer. to kill themselves after a bad breakup. That's a great answer. That's a great answer. Have you ever picked up a woman? On the bus or the train? Yes, and yes. Okay, so yeah, we have a lot of questions, but that's it for tonight, ladies and gentlemen. And what we will do is we will uh, reload the bank, the question bank, and we will be with you all next week on the Lonely Hearts Cafe. We thank you all for joining us tonight. Oh, Stephanie, one more question. Do men like uh, women who are aggressive in bed? Yes, I do. Take some initiative. Yeah. Uh, Show the fuck out. First of all, if this is my sister Stephanie asking that question, I just want to throw up right now. <laughs> you know, I just... You just made me think about that. I was just say that. Uh, it's different. Yeah. Uh, do men like women who are aggressive in bed? Um, my answer to that, you know, my answer is going to be a little bit off the wall. And I would say that one of the side chicks always needs to be aggressive. You need the variety, okay? One of the side chicks always needs to be aggressive, and one of the side chicks needs to be. Uh, romantic so that you can merge it all together and bring those tricks home <laughs> oh, damn. honorable deacon do not ever let me say anything that could potentially get me in trouble I think that I hate when we have to delete shows or trash shows okay so everyone thank you for joining us on the lonely hearts cafe Queen B asks, damn, we could go another hour. Queen B says, I said one of the side six. Well, damn, how many are needed? Um, Honorable Deacon. You need a harem. A harem. Honorable Deacon says a harem. I would say that one needs at least, at least three and possibly more. Uh, uh. Uh, or a woman that's tripolar. Yeah, you, you, variety is important. Variety is important. So, uh, everyone that's in the chat room, listen to our new commercial after the show ends. Don't drop off the line, because Thorny, I don't think you've heard it. Queen B says, at least you keep it real, Deacon. Yeah, I tries. I tries. Yeah, and uh, Queen Bee has given me a warning to stop talking. I shall do that. But everybody stay online, listen to the commercials. Thank you for joining us tonight on the Lonely Hearts Cafe. Uh, everybody in Milwaukee, I will see you tomorrow. And next week, maybe we will be live from Milwaukee. Thank you for joining us. Spicy Conversations coming up next. And that is it. Commercial coming up next. Good night, everyone. ChristopherTracyCollection.com For more information, log